Platform SH is the end-to-end -end platform for teams that need to manage websites, whether you have just one or 1,000. Our Platform as a Service is polyglot and future-proof with DevOps best practices built in. That means container-based continuous deployment, flexible development environments, and production hosting with an SLA of up to four nines included. Platform SH is designed for your web application, whether it's a monolithic CMS, a decoupled architecture, or a collection of microservices. Let's review the main workflow-related features. The goal of this demo is to clone our production environment, add a new feature with a data service, and upgrade our main runtime. When you open your Platform SH dashboard, you will be shown all of the projects you have access to. A project is a complete web application that is composed of one or more application containers and all of the data services your application needs. For example, relational and NoSQL databases, caches, search, and so forth. Platform SH uses Git to manage code. For each project, you have a special environment for your master branch. This is the production environment with reserved resources defined by your plan, and this is where you will map your domain name. Any additional Git branches that you create will get independent environments for development and testing. Each one will be a perfect clone of your site with its own services and its own data. This demo project is a simple e-commerce application running on PHP with MySQL and Solar. You can directly access the live version of the application. As you can see, the project has a custom domain attached. Note that we take care of generating all the TLS certificates you need by default for every environment. There are four different ways of interacting with your project. The web interface allows you to trigger all the management actions you need. For developers, we provide a command line interface that will increase your day-to-day -day efficiency. These two interfaces are based on our API that you can also leverage directly to automate actions across your website fleet. The fourth way to use Platform SH? Don't forget that we're built on the Git protocol, so if you already know Git, you know how to use Platform SH. Everything else is optional, but provides additional features to do more in less time. Let's use the Platform SH command line tool to create a new test environment that we are going to name Feature Slider. I could have also just used git checkout minus b to do this. When you push new branches to Platform SH, it will automatically deploy a full replica of the production site within minutes, no matter how big or complex the site is. Our system will clone your code, runtimes, and service configuration, as well as the data for all of your services, including the database, the cache, the solar index, and anything else that's written to disk. We now have a fully working environment. We can access the working application through a specific URL that is auto-generated based on the branch name. As you can see, everything is the same as the production site. We are running PHP 7.0, MySQL, and Solar. Let's create a new slider feature for our site. First, I'm opening the index file and adding some simple HTML to that page. Now let's imagine that this feature requires Redis, a key value database, in order to work. Rather than learning how to install, deploy, scale, and secure Redis, all I need to do is to update the services configuration file for my project and say which version of Redis my application needs. Platform SH will deploy, configure, and run Redis for you. We also provide updates when new versions are available. Redis is just one of many services that you can choose from. Check out our documentation to find a list of all supported services and their versions. Let's add the Redis relationship to our PHP applications configuration as well. The routing between services is automatic and secured from access outside the project. Finally, let's upgrade the PHP runtime version for this project. As you can see in the application configuration file, we're currently running version 7.0.
upgrading is as simple as changing this to 7.2. A main benefit of using our platform is that the infrastructure is now part of your project lifecycle. You can test new or updated services in isolation, independent of your hosting company. There is no need to open a ticket or a change request, and the changes you make are fully auditable and reversible. Note that the platform app YAML file we've been editing is also responsible for defining how your application gets built and deployed. It defines the continuous integration process. When you push your source code to Platform SH using Git, we automatically build your application based on the actions you've defined. This includes fetching dependencies from Composer or NPM, compiling front-end assets, or even running tests. Deploy actions are meant to update the services when you launch the new version of your code. We now have three updated files in our repository. Let's commit them to our repository. In order to test our new code, we now need to push the code to our remote. If you are using external services like GitHub, Bitbucket, and GitLab, you can also set up our integrations to automatically mirror your repository and generate environments for all pull requests automatically. Platform SH is now rebuilding the feature slider environment and redeploying it. Let's refresh our environment page. We now have this wonderful slider working. Let's check our application container. I can use the platform SSH command to automatically be connected to my environment based on my current local Git branch. Hey, now we're running PHP 7.2. You can now send this URL to your client for testing and review or perform your automated tests. Let's say I'm a product owner or a project manager. I can decide that this environment is working as expected and I want to put the new feature in production. I can use the Merge button in the interface to take all changes from my environment to its parent. That's how you deploy. My environment structure is really simple here, but based on your workflow, you could add intermediate levels like user acceptance testing, staging, or sprint branches. Teams can work independently with their own workflow and don't have to depend on a single staging or integration environment that might be a bottleneck in their process. Since we've only changed the configuration, we are now using our already built container and pushing it to production. Platform SH only rebuilds the containers it needs for each change. The production site now has the slider working and is also using the updated PHP version and Redis. I can also access my Redis instance through cache internal and use it in my application. We provide configuration helpers to automatically inject the endpoint and the credentials into your CMS or framework. If you encounter an untested bug, rolling back the latest code is as simple as reverting your commit. Platform SH also provides snapshots that are a full image of all your running containers that you can restore yourself whenever you need. Let's wrap this demo by talking about environment hierarchy and permissions. Every environment is a child of the parent which we created it from. That means the environment settings from the parent are automatically inherited by the new ones. The most useful feature is the environment variable system. You can, for example, define that your production environment has a variable called API endpoint with the value production. You can now override this value on the staging environment, for example, with dev. This applies to user permissions as well. They are inherited by default. You can also add a specific user, like a subcontractor, to a specific environment. That means they'll be able to access and commit code to their environment, but not connect to or change the code on the parent environments, like staging or production. They won't even be able to see the production environment variables or secrets. Thank you for listening to this introduction to our platform feel free to reach us at sayhello at platform.sh if you need an advanced demo or have further questions.